All right, guys, another question I, I got here recently from a couple, a couple guys is, what are the white things that I'm using? These are PVC pole holders. Uh, Mine are Schedule 42 inch. Uh, they sell these at most of the bait shops, uh, Walmart, Bass Pro, Academy, Dicks. You can buy these things. They want $5 a piece. I've seen them up to $10 a piece for flimsy, super thin wall stuff. Yeah, it's been formed where it has a nice little cup up top. First time you hit it with a mallet, it breaks. Me, I choose to run over to the, my local Home Depot, Lowe's or Menards or Ace, whatever your, your hardware store is. Uh, you can buy a whole stick of this, 20 foot stick for less than $10 or 10 foot piece for, for less than $10. I cut them in different sizes. Mine are right at about 42 inches tall, 52 inches tall, and I put them in the ground, you know. Sometimes, you know, like these here, I, I drill the hole so, so some of my rod sits in them. Sometimes I'll leave them tall so it comes all the way up. But that's what these are. These are just basically pole holders, so I'm not setting them in the sand. But like we talked about earlier, of uh, keeping your equipment out of the sand and out of the dirt. That's all these are for, is to keep them up. Another reason for, for the taller rods is, is, is try to keep the line stuff up out of the wave as it comes in closer tides going out here right now so if i was going to stay here longer than what I, I plan on fishing today is i would move my, my rod holders according to the surf line and then try to keep my rod holder, holders and my rods as close to the surf line as possible to, to try to keep my line out of that surf so you know you can definitely you know see see your and detect your hits a lot better uh you can fish back further, back the further back you fish, the heavier you want to use the weight to keep your line tight. So that's basically why I use these, is to keep my equipment out of the sand and out, out of the dirt. And like I said, you can buy these, these poles right here. You can buy them pre-cut, pre-made, pre-shaped, all that good stuff. And spend five to ten dollars a piece on them, or you can go buy you a piece of PVC pipe and cut it yourself. To me makes more sense to make my own i can make it out of schedule 40 it's going to last longer and it's going to be more durable that's just my personal opinion you know everybody's going to do do what they want to do but to me i'm all about saving saving a dollar the more i can save on other things the more i can spend on reels uh i haven't bought any reels in a while but it, i take just because i take good care of mine this is a bg 8000 right here with 80 pound braid on it. Do I need 80 pound braid for fishing for whiting and pompano and reds? How do you say? No, I don't, but it's what I choose to use. So everybody has their own preference. To me, this 80 cast real good on here. There's uh, 400 yards on it. So each, each, each is his own of what they want to use. So pretty much just, and that's what the, the white poles are guys. So there you have it. All right, guys, got us a nibble nibble here. Uh, I don't think he stayed on. No. Hit and run, baby. Let's call me some Morgan and Morgan. All right, guys, had us a nibble nibbler. I like them little nibble nibblers. Just see if he took the bait and stayed on there. All right, let's see. Meet him halfway to the sandbar here. Might be something. Might be nothing. Yeah, there's something there, little nibble nibbler. Get it be. There's a way 
24. What do we got? Little Jack Crabell. Go up here, we'll get him set free. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> All right, guys. Corey, let's look at this guy here. Got us a jack. Let's see if we can get that out. Here we go. I hear you, son. I hear you. There we go. Look at that, guys. Nice little jack Crabelle. Good thing I ain't commercial fishing today. Well, we're gonna get you back out here and let you go. Well, hey guys. We're gonna call it a day out here today. Uh, just had a little bit of time uh, to run out and uh, throw, throw a line. So, we talked a little bit today about integrating from fresh water to salt water, from salt water to fresh water. Uh, went over a little bit of the year uh, like i said earlier it's uh, pretty much almost the same same style of year uh, just a little bit different presentations uh, but we'll get back into that uh, later we'll make another part to this and go over a little bit more but all in all we had, had a pretty good day uh, we did catch a little whiting and uh one, one little jack crabelle uh, in a short amount of time when it was here it wasn't here super long guys so uh but we got to run up and uh and do some uh, honeydews and we'll get all that good stuff taken care of. But like I said, you know, anytime we get a chance to stop by the water, we're gonna stop by the water and uh, drown a little bit of bait uh, just, just to see what's going on. So we'll get back with you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the little bell to uh, get updates. And uh, once again, God bless and we'll see you guys later.